The experiments you will see have been carefully done by professionals and should not be tried at home without parental guidance. Please follow the caution signs throughout this program. us today for Creation is Science, where we learn about God through awesome science and experiments. Today we have Professor Roy with us. Good to be here. I'm glad you're here. And we have some other young people with us today. I've got Ethan, Hannah, Amanda, and Nathan. We're glad you're here too. Well, nice to meet you kids. Thanks for coming. I think we have something of talking about pressure today. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, have you, have, you ever, have you ever been under pressure? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what, can you share something that about being under pressure, or something bothered you maybe, or have any stories about that? Yeah. Sometimes, if you like go inside of water that's super duper duper deep, and it could also cross you, which is very 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 bad pressure. Oh yeah, water pressure, right? Yeah, pressure. that's interesting, isn't it? Wow. Well, you know what I want you to do? Let's see, Ethan, can you go get our balloon nail bed over there? Okay, we got an experiment and it's all about pressure. Okay, all about pressure. Now, now what is pressure? You know, pressure is force over an area. That's what pressure, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's check this out. Let's see, whoa, now that's interesting. And you know what? I think we're going to need some balloons. So you want to get our balloons for me? Amanda, Amanda, go ahead, go get them. Okay, here we go, just set them down over here. Now this is interesting. But first of all, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna talk about uh, allergies. Anybody have an allergy? No. I'm not no, you do have an allergy? Anything. Like you're allergic to, what are you I'm allergic, not allergic to? to anything. What do you, yes, what are you allergic to? Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs. Ah, oh, I'm sorry that you're allergic to cats and dogs. They're fun, aren't they? What are you allergic to? Cats and nuts. Cats and nuts. Okay, so you have to be careful, right, around cats and dogs and nuts, too. That can be very dangerous. Well, let's see what we have right here. I've got this little platform, but I also have a nail, okay? Now, you know what's interesting? Nails are sharp, aren't they? And this is a real nail. Is that a real nail? I mean, does it look like a real nail? Does it feel like a real nail? Yes, yes it's a real nail. <laughs> it's a real nail. So what I'm going to do is I've got, I have a little balloon right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to blow up a balloon. I'm going to show you something about being allergic. Okay, so I'm going to blow this up. Are you ready? Okay, let's blow up the balloon. Whoa, now that makes a lot of noise, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow, that was a squeaky balloon, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where we... I don't know where we I don't know where we got these squeaky right. balloons. Let's see what I've got now. You know, since we're using balloons and we're using something that's sharp, I think I'm going to put my safety glasses yep. on. Yeah, let's all grab so, our safety glasses. Good idea. I'm <gasps> all right, we don't want pieces of balloon flying in your eye, do we? No. Nope. No. Okay. So what I have right here is I've got a nail. Now, did you know? I know some of you probably didn't realize this, but you know that balloons are allergic to nails. Did you know that? No. Yeah. That's right. In fact, if a balloon gets too close to a nail, it breaks out. You know, some people when they're allergic, they have an allergic reaction. They'll break out, right? Mm -hmm. Let's check this out. You think this will break if it gets too close? Yes. Let's check it out. And it does, and, and it broke. And it like now that's interesting. And you know, that nail reminds me of something. That nail reminds me that when you and I are under pressure, you know, when things go wrong and things go bad and you feel all anxious inside and you might even have a little anger, you know what, that can hurt you, can't it? Yeah. So this little nail right here, you know, I don't think I'd want to step on that nail. Would you like to step on that? No, I wouldn't no. want to step on the nail. But you know what we're going to do? I'm going to take another one of our balloons, okay? I'm going to blow it up. Get, why are you holding your ears? <laughs> so it doesn't make a squeaky noise. Oh, a squeaky noise, okay. <gasps> and it did, it made that squeaky that noise again. I don't know. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this balloon right here. That was but squeaky. you know what we're going to do? We're going to let this, these nails right here, in fact, I've got a lot of nails right here. Feel those. Are they, are they real nails? 
Oh, yeah. yeah. They're real oh, nails, and there happens to be 300 of them. 300? There's Yes, 300 of them, and I drilled holes, and I put these nails in there. That's but you know, this nail represents a problem, right? Something that could hurt mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. But you know what you and I should do? You and I should try to be a help to people that are going through a lot of things that could be pressure in their lives, right? Yeah, we need to be what? Encouraging, right? We need to stand beside them and give them a lot of, a lot of uh, friendship. So I'm going to put this down right here. I'm going to put it right on the 300 nails. I'm going to put this oh, on no. the top right there. Let's see what we can do right here. Let's see. Hey, why don't you come on over here? Come on, yeah, come on. you come on over here. I want you to take your hand and I want you to push down on there. Can you push down with your hand? Just push down. What's going to happen? Are you going to get ready? Is the boon's going to pop? I want to hear Are they going to pop? Are you pushing? She's pushing, pushing down. Pushing. It's a balloon popping. Is it breaking? Yeah. No, it's not popping or breaking. Now, is that surprising? Yes. Now, can you tell me why? Why isn't, uh, why didn't that balloon pop and we had it over those <gasps> sharp nails? Oh, what do you think? Why? I know why. More of them. Because there was a lot of them, right? Yes. That's right. Remember what we said at the beginning? Yes, go ahead. Because there wasn't enough pressure on it. Okay, that's right. We said that pressure is force over what? An area. So we put the pressure. You're putting pressure down on here. And was that pressure going over just one, balloon, uh, one nail? Mm -mm. No, because if it did, what would happen? It would what? It would pop. It would pop. It would oh. pop. <laughs> it would pop. It would pop. Well, it's not popping. What? And it's not popping. I wonder what happened to this balloon. Uh, you know why it's not it's popping? It's too big. I spread the balloon out over the table, too. Isn't that interesting? Hey, but you know, that's interesting. You know, and we should help people that are going through a lot of pressure, just like those little nails. You and I can be a nail to help them to get all that pressure off of them. Hey, let's do something else that's really, really fun about <gasps> this. You see all those eggs down there? Yes. Yeah. All right, that's interesting. Would you like to step on what? What would happen if you step on one egg? It would, it, would it would break. Right, the egg would break. But what do you think might happen if you stepped on a bunch of them? What do you think? We would crack some. Hey, well, I don't know. Let's try it. Hannah, are you ready to try? Yes. Well, come on over here. Let's see if Hannah can stand on the eggs, okay? But what we're going to do is we're going to help her. We're going to lift her so she can, she can get right on top of the eggs. And let's just see if her body weight will just be right about like that. Okay, now just don't move. No, 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 no don't move. Just keep your feet there. Okay, and we're going to let go of her. We're going to let go of her. We're going to let go of her. Okay, no, wait, no, wait, don't step yet. Are the eggs breaking? No. Yay. No, they're not breaking because we've got her weight on all of those eggs. Now, if she can walk flat-footed enough, we're going to see if she can walk from one to the other. Are you ready? Here, I'll hold I'm your hand. Do what does. Okay, go ahead. Take a nice step. There we go. And another step. There we go. Keep going. Another step. Oh, she crushed oh, one. Careful, careful, keep going. Careful, careful. And keep going. And you step all the way off. We're just crushing one. Oh, wow. Look. And she one only egg. broke one egg. How cool is that? How cool is that? Wow. Anybody else want to try it? Try. Well, come on right, over come here. On, Ethan. Okay, here we go. All right, let's get him lifted up. Lift him up, up, up. There Wait. we go. And step right on it. There we go. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Are the eggs breaking? No, they're not breaking yet. Okay, take a step. Take a step. I got you. And another step. And another step. And another step. Yay. Another step. Yay. How about that? That's interesting. Daddy. Who's next? Who's next? Try? Who's next? No, let's, go. let's lift him up. Let's Are you ready? All right, let's get him up. Up, oh, up. Flat foot. Right on top of the egg. Put your right feet up, right, right on top of the Right in the middle. Put your left foot in the middle. Okay. Left foot. All right. Yep. Here we go. All right. Are the eggs broken? Yay, no, no broken eggs No, they're not broken. Yet. All right, here we go. Take a step. That's right. That's right. Easy does it. Easy okay, does right it. right in the middle. Keep going. Nice and Easy careful. does it. And yeah. All the way. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All right, cool. you ready? We got one more. Are we ready? All right. Let's lift it up. There we go. All right. Are the eggs breaking? No. 
Now, all of her weight are on a lot of those eggs. Okay, flat right, I got you. All, all right, here we go. Take a nice step. Oh, wow. There we go. Here we go. Take a nice step. Keep going. You're doing good. Keep going. Uh, Keep going. Keep going. And yeah. nice easy. Cool. Yay. Now that was interesting. What's that? Wait a minute. I want to try. Oh, okay. No. No. You can, hey. I can do it. No. No. You're too heavy. No, no, no. Too heavy. I think I'm too heavy too. No. Me. We Me. all support her. <laughs> Shall I, I try? What's well, your? Sure. Yes. I'm gonna leave my shoes here. Let's see what happens. To try. I don't know how well, we're gonna uh, lift you up, though. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, I gotta lean on somebody. All right, all right. I'm gonna lean. All right, you can lean. All right, there she goes. All right, are they breaking? Are they breaking? Are they breaking? Oh, are they breaking? No, the eggs nope. aren't breaking. I'm hearing cracking sounds. Wow. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay. Here we go. Take a step. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. You're doing good. Uh -oh. Keep going. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Keep going. Uh -oh. Keep going. Uh -oh. Keep going. Uh -oh. Keep going. Too bad. Oh. Not too bad. Not too they bad at all. Now, that's oh. interesting, isn't it? That was interesting. Ooh. Hey, come back come around. Come back let's around. Back. Hey, let's talk about this. Now, that was an interesting experiment. Was that an interesting experiment? Yeah. I liked it. Now, let me ask you a question. You know, it was what? Pressure is force over an area. So we put your body weight over a lot of eggs, and the eggs didn't crack. Well, we got one to crack, actually, didn't we? And we actually two. got two to I crack. I didn't get crack. I didn't crack anything. I know, and that was great, wasn't it? Interesting, wasn't that? But you know, you and I, we can do what? We can be a person that's going to support somebody that's going through a what? Going through some pressure in their lives or a problem. And that's what we're supposed to do, isn't it? I think so. But you know what, talk about that, about pressure. You know, what would happen if, you know, Jesus created everything, didn't he? He created everything that lives and that we can see and hear and, and, and tell about. But you know, what would happen if an elephant had feet like a deer? What would happen to the elephant? His, oh. his legs would break because he's legs so Legs would probably heavy. break, wouldn't it? They would sink down into the ground. So even the animals have what? They have feet so that they can survive because of what they look like and what their weight is. That's pretty cool, isn't it? it wow, is. what do you think about that? That's amazing. That's amazing how it's, he It's really quite amazing, isn't it? Wow, so force is what? Pressure is force over an area. That's interesting. That's why we didn't just stand on one egg. What would happen to it? It would break. It would crack. And I hear the shape of the egg has something to do with it because on the sides it's weaker and on the points it's not. It's stronger, and that's maybe has something to do with it too. That's kind of interesting, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of the strongest structures of nature. Is something that's round, isn't it? Just like your head, very very strong, isn't it? Like a tree trunk. Tree trunk is round. It's not square. That would be very very weak, wouldn't it? That's interesting. Nathan, could you grab the Bible for me? I think there's a text that reminds me of a Bible text. And I think it's in Psalms 55, verse 22. Can you help me find that? Let's see if we can find it. Nope, we went past it. There we go. Okay, Psalms 55, 22, right here. Can you help me read it nice and loud? Yes. Cast your burdens on the Lord. He shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Oh, so who's going to sustain us? God. Even if man fails, God is always there to sustain us, right? That's and right. we can always depend on him. And hopefully you have good parents and your friends, like we talked about, like there's several eggs and distributing the way. We need to find support like that, don't you think? Yes. yes. I agree. How many of you want to have Jesus in living in our hearts? I do, Absolutely. and when we are feeling stressed out and worried about things, we need to depend on God. We can see God's creation around us because creation is science. science.